Come what, on here. What, oh, there you go, Sean. What's <laughs> happening? Sean, why you ain't tell me you was in Tampa when you was in Tampa? I asked. And you ignored me. Well, first thing first. You don't love Nifa, me no more, Sean? You could just first, tell me. First thing. First name first, Nifa, back in the building. What's going on? Uh, no, nah, I mean, no, nah, you know, I, you know, I posted the, I posted the pic. I asked, I asked people who was down here with me. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was in your area. I know I, I passed. Man, I know I passed. You uh, lying. No, I know I passed like Saint. What, where were you at? Saint Petersburg or some shit like that? But Sean, that's like thirty minutes away from me. You know, I work out of Tampa, so when I commented on your picture, mm -hmm. cause I seen the Hard Rock, and I said, "What?" I, said, I come and I said, "You in Tampa?" And all you did was like my post. You did not <laughs> write that and say, "Yeah, like hit me up, yeah, come up we, there, where you at?" Like, yeah, nah, I, I think I, I think I, I, I liked the post, and what I did was. Uh, got on the tables, and that that was about it, man. <laughs> oh, I was, I was about gonna it. say, Sean, you got my phone number. I want to pull up. I is it is it still the same? I I wasn't sure. I wasn't. I wasn't man, sure. Man, Sean, my little you know, thing is you had it because you know a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people that I interviewed. That's that's from uh, they changed their phone numbers and. And, you know, the only way to get in contact with them is you try to catch them on uh, Instagram. And, you know, you, you know how you ladies are. Y'all y'all don't like answering y'all DMs and all like that. So it is, it is what it is. That's why you have my phone number. My phone number been the same. I don't even get my phone number out. That's why I never have to change my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> so you was my friend. That's why I gave you my phone number. You ain't been hitting me up. Well, I tried I, to call you when you had the virus to well, check yeah, on you. you. Did, you yeah, you I, declined I, my yeah. phone call. No, I, I talked to I you when like, I was down. I was like, damn, he'll love me. No, I, I talked to you when I was down. I, I think you called me You you, you called me up, and I, I think we chatted for like maybe like. No, you got me mixed up with somebody else. You no, declined my phone I call. Then call. I had to text you. Then I <sighs> screenshot the text message, and I sent it to your Instagram. I'm like, damn, uh, okay. what the well, fuck? My, my, my bad, my bad, my bad. I mean, I had, I had a few, I had a few people, I had a few people called me up, you know, to wish me well and all like that. So, so what's been going on yeah, with you though, man? Too. Them, them lashes though. <laughs> oh, they so big. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They so big, Sean. They so big, huh? Yeah, them <laughs> lashes, man. So what's been going hey, on with you? Get on my Instagram and ride me. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's been going on with you though? Man, I'm trying to get my health in order for real. Cause mm -hmm. I mean, this corona shit been hitting people real close to me. So mm -mm, I say, well, bitch, let me let me get right. Let me get my uh boost my immune system and work out stop being lazy because I had gained a bunch of weight driving trucks. I started I was 166. I'm way past that now. So <laughs> All right. So you yeah, know, I so, so Nifa, you know, I you know I, I, I met you a while back. Uh we we've been yeah. we we've been going back and forth with each other for a little bit. My yeah. uh, you know a, a lot of things with you has changed uh since <laughs> since we linked up. I'm Hello. Oh, okay, that sounds a hell of a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So what I was saying was, um, everything's everything's going good with you. You know, I mean, every you you got everything in order, the house, the job. But where's the music though? Where where's the music at? Yeah. No, I haven't been recording. I just ain't been feeling inspired, and you know, my producer had passed away. Right. So, and you know, once I gained all this weight, I kind of lost some of my confidence. Like my clothes wasn't fit in the same money different too. Like from over the road to local is a pay cut. And then, you know, I got real bills. So that kind of messed up my confidence too. So yeah, I just haven't been feeling inspired to do no music. I think that'll, that'll get you that spark back because I mean, you got, you I mean, Nifa, you you got some bars. The last, the yeah. last, the last, uh, 
the last song or the last track that I heard, I'm I'm still bumping that. The the you the, the I love you or you love me or whatever that song is. I'm Show me your love. Yeah, show me your love. I'm 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 still bumping that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Sean. I just um I was thinking maybe I need to like write for somebody because I don't want to feel pressure to show my body. As far as like, you know, being sexy and you know how it seems like rappers nowadays are competing with fucking strippers and I don't want to show my body. I got a son. I have morals. Like oh. I want you to hear my bars. I don't want you to like see with my titties and my ass and if my pussy fat. Like well, that's you what's, get what I'm saying, Sean? That's, like, that's what's up. I hey, I, I respect you for that because a lot of you know, a lot of a, a lot of females fi- feel that you know, a lot of female rappers feel that they need to, you know, they they need to be much more sexuality in order to compete out here. And there's yeah. there's really some females out here that's not even on a sexuality road that got true bars, like you know, like uh, yeah, but they don't get that push because sex sells, and that's fucked up. Yeah, I got I got to agree my my uh my favorite female rapper, you know, she, you know, she even though she got true bars and she can like she can like spit fire and shit, but she she do show a little bit of sexiness to herself and all like that. Not to say, you know, not to say that's overshadowing her skills, but you you're absolutely right, you know, the females in the game you know that's that got the true bars need that push and they not getting it because they not you know they not trying to sexualize their clothes yeah they ain't taking off their clothes yep that's what's up that's what's up so all right so you you said the money's different you know going from over the road uh to being local how how does it feel uh being local now and how how long has it has it been since you uh been doing local I've been doing local for two years. It feels so much good. I had a bunch of mommy guilt because, you know, I left Ace when he was two Mm -hmm. and I got back when he was uh, five and I wasn't, I didn't miss his kindergarten year, which was, that was always my goal when I got in this shit in 2016. I wanted to do over the road for as long as I could until I can get a local, at least two years of experience over the road driver to drive for us, this local account. So, I got my years of experience, and I got with the local um, opportunity from Epps, and I've been with Epps for three years, and I've been local with them for two years, and it feels good. I'm really, really, really grateful and thankful to be home with my baby and just be able to buy us a house and take care of home, get us two kittens, and but it's been more drama in the, on this local account versus over the road, like. I've dealt with what? my truck. Yeah, like my truck got stolen. Yeah, you did I've, a you did a video about that. What what actually happened? Like, I mean, you <laughs> you you just went to the went to the yard and the and the truck wasn't there. What happened, bro? I showed up to work, and so I parked my car where my truck is supposed to be, and I'm like, where the fuck is my truck? So I go in there and I'm like, hey, have y'all seen my truck? And it was like, no, we thought you already did your first load. It's not there. And I'm like, wait, what? So I called my driving manager at the time. I'm, did you take my truck to get a um to get a PM done on it? You know, like, and he's like, no. And I'm like, well, my truck isn't here, so I'm about so, to call the police. <laughs> so you don't, so you don't slip see. You the, the truck that you got is yours, right? It's mine. Yeah, I'm the only one on this account. It's my account, my truck. It's mine. Oh, okay, so so it wasn't like somebody that you were slip seating with came into the truck. So nope. you so you called the police and what happened? And I'm like, okay, well, we'll be up there in a minute for questioning. And um, I said, well, I parked right in front of the camera. Mm-hmm. So my hey, hey, no, we parked right in front of the camera. And so the manager uh, of, of Capstone, he had looked on the camera and he found it at eleven eleven. Two people had came got in the truck, mind you. The parking lot is surveilled by the police. So when the police mm-hmm. drove off, that's when they crunked the truck up and drove off in the trunk. What? Yep. My truck was gone for three days. Then we found it in a yard across the street at Logistics, at Lightning Logistics, mm-hmm. in their gate. And so, like, 
that whole ordeal. Once so, I told my driver manager where it was at, he was like, okay, we'll jump in the truck and let's go. So, uh, no, motherfucker. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, this, so, so. So wait, so the truck was gone for a whole three days, whole and three days. and the company couldn't couldn't pinpoint where the truck was at. I mean, don't 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 the truck got GPS? They could have pinpointed where the truck was at. They kept saying that it was in Temple Terrace, Florida, and so uh -huh. he made me go to the Penske to see if the truck was there. Mind you, the truck wasn't even fucking there. And it's just like, why are you making me locate this truck, like, bro? Right. Why? No, why are then, you going? Like, I had to tell HR on him because once we found the truck, mm -hmm. he wanted me to just get in the truck. No, this truck need to be fucking inspected. What if I get in this truck and the brakes don't work and I crash into somebody else, kill me and kill somebody else, and then right. my baby don't got a mother? Like, right. no, that's not. Don't fucking cut corners. Call the insurance people. Have them tow the fucking truck to Penske and inspect that motherfucker. Is something going out this shit? Cause I, it ain't nothing that I can motherfucker do. Like I'm not no damn mechanic. So this so is, I had to tell on him. This and he a, yelled at me over the phone, Sean. What? He yelled at me. Yeah. Uh oh. All year, no call offs on time, mm -hmm. and you yell at me and say you don't want to do your job. Nah, bitch, I want to be safe. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck is you talking about? Oh, uh, you said, you said, nah, uh-uh. So, wait, so. He got fired and everything. So, you got, so they came, they got the truck, they, they gave it the one. This is a day cab, right? A day cab, Sean, only a two-seater. That's it. So, <laughs> none of, so it. you didn't have none, you, you didn't have no important no important stuff in the there. only thing that was stole was my jacket the car qualm and the sensor on the side wow yep wow somebody actually stole a fucking qualcom what the fuck you gonna do with a qualcom so <laughs> the neighborhood that that is in is really a bad neighborhood and i'm mm -hmm. thinking they sold it for drugs because what else like what what y'all gonna do with it if anything the whole truck should have been on the boat down to cuba or something that was a two hundred thousand dollar <laughs> truck like yeah, you, said, you said the whole truck should have been on a boat so how yeah. so what they so what they did they they hot wired it or or you uh, or do you have to leave keys in there or what no, nah, they must have hardwired the shit because I didn't leave no keys in there, so I don't know. Yeah. All right, so that was so so that was uh <laughs> that was, that, was a, that, that. that that was a wild moment. What what other wild moments you've been having? Oh my gosh, I got sexually harassed. From what? Yep. From, yeah. From from, yeah. from where? From a, okay, so Capstone is the company that loads uh. Epps trailers, right? Because right. you know, I don't know nothing, I don't touch anything. Right. And so their yard dog at the time was like harassing me, and it was so crazy because Sean, he was black, mm -hmm. and I had some he hesitancy of even telling on him why, because he was black. Mm -hmm. And mind you, I have been to 38 states with no weapons, never felt no fear. This is the first time. A man put fear in my heart, and I thought he was really going to take it from me. Like, mm -hmm. mind you, this man just had got out of, like, prison for doing eight years in jail. Like, right. he was buff as fuck, Sean. And so where the where the, um, where the the plaza is located is right there by the interstate. So nobody was going to hear me scream, and we wasn't by the cameras that was in the front. We was in the back. Mm -hmm. So it, I was really fucked up. Because we were in between two trailers. What I've happened? never been that scared in my life, Sean. So, so what happened? How did, he, I, how did he assault you? This is what I'm going to start from the fucking beginning. <laughs> you got time? <laughs> I, got, I, I got time. I'm, in the, I'm, on, I'm on I-4 right now with about 65,000. I mean, to the, uh, to the 95. So, yeah, we, we got time. <laughs> so okay mind you he was always trying to flirt with me and i would be telling him like nah we're just gonna be friends and then like right. he would try to touch my leg and i'm like nah chill out I'm like relax mm -hmm. so thursday i had came to work i was real sad um because monday my grandma had had a stroke right so thursday i had told him about it mm -hmm. and i was crying 
And so he was like, you want a hug? And I'm like, yeah. Like, I needed a hug at the time. So he just hugged me. I ain't think nothing of it. Okay. But, but you, you, gave him, you gave him permission to hug you. Yeah. Okay. And he asked me if I wanted a hug. And I'm like, yeah, I was crying and shit. Yeah, I could oh, use a hug. Okay. So Friday, we got back to work um, the next day. Mm -hmm. The whole day, the only thing he asked me was like, can I get a hug? Mm. Can I get a hug? Can mm. I get my hug now? Mm. Can I get a hug? Mm. The weirdest shit ever. Mind you, we was talking, we was kicking, we was cool. Mm -hmm. But Friday, all you got to say to me is, can I get a hug? So I had five loves that day. Mm -hmm. So the fifth low, he made, he, okay, mind you, he's a yard dog, so he pulled the trailers and he would make sure that it would just be me and him on the yard. Everybody else gone, mm. right? Mm -hmm. I don't have no weapons on. Never had no weapons. Left. He didn't know weapons even when I was over the road. Crazy as fuck. No mm -hmm. pepper spray, no mace, no knife, no nothing. Mm -hmm. So, my fifth low is late as fuck. It's late at night. And he like, um, I'm dropping my low. I'm getting up. I'm, I'm only out of my truck because, you know, I have to drop the drop the trailer. I got to drop the trailer. Drop I gotta hook. Unhook yeah. my. Yeah, I got to unhook the, the electric lines and all that shit, right? Mm -hmm. So he pulls up on me in the yard dog truck because he, he is a yard dog. He pulled a trailer. But he pull up on me and he, like, walk up on me while I'm dropping my landing, like, while I'm got the landing gear and shit. Mm -hmm. And we're in between the trailers late at night by the interstate, mm -hmm. by, not by the camera. Mm -hmm. And he's walking on me. And he's like, can I get my hug now since you out the truck? So I'm thinking in my head, if I run backwards, there's nowhere to run. It's a pond right there. <laughs> I, I can only walk fucking forward where this nigga at. Like, I felt like so scared because he was looking at me like, bitch, I'll take it from you. Like, you ain't going to get it. If you ain't going to give me this pussy, I'll take it. That was the look in his eyes. Mm -hmm. So I just walked up towards him because I need to get back in my fucking truck and I need to go. So I'm like, no, nah, you can't get no hug. What's up with you? You've been acting weird all fucking day. So I'm fussing. And I'm getting, I'm getting fucking mad. But I'm walking. I'm trying to walk towards my truck door to get the fuck in. Mm-hmm. Oh, but he's still towards me. Like he's still facing me, but he's backing up backwards. You get what I'm saying? Right. Cause I'm walking forward towards him. Like fuck it, bitch. I'm gonna fight it. If I gotta fight this. Big ass nigga, I am. I'm fucking fighting. So I'm like, no, what the fuck is wrong with you? I already told you no today. Why the fuck you being so weird? You walking? I made you, it out of that shit unscathed. So let's just say yeah, that. And yeah, I had to so, call my HR, and they got his ass out. He was terminated the next day. Okay, that's that's what's up, man. That's what's up. I'm, you you don't need to be, you know, you you don't need to be put in any type of type of predicament why why you on a job man that's that's not cool yeah. you don't need to be you know you don't need to be afraid to you know to go you know to go to the place and and be harassed and all like that so yeah man that's whew, all right so i'm glad you uh i'm glad you made it up out of that you know out Me of that too. um all right so since you've been uh so she been local you know you you was um I, I gotta admit, uh, Nifa, you you got a little bit of you got a little bit more sassiness in you since you since you uh, since you got off uh, off the road, man. I mean, because over the road you was kind of, you know, you was kind of. I, I don't know how to say it, but I guess you was kind of like a little. Uh, I I don't know how to say it, but when you. But when you got off the road, you know, you got a little bit more rougher, you know, mouth got a little bit more reckless. What's up with that? What happened to the what happened to the QC knee for knee that was on that was over the road? <laughs> I see you hear that smack? That, that's that smack right there. I don't know. I mean, I always been a thug, but it's just like the shit that I've been going through since I've been home. It like, it's like I gotta be tough almost, like, cause I ain't been through. I've been through more shit since I've been home than when I was over the road. Like, shit was good. <laughs> I was happy. It was adventures. I was meeting different people. Mm. I never knew where I was going. Shit was fun. It was funky. But this shit since I've been home, like, 
the only thing good about it is being with my baby and my family. Mm-hmm. And not even my, even with my family, it's been family fucking drama. So really my baby and my mama, that's the only thing I get to see them talk to them every day. But other than that, it's like, man, it's been drama, bro. Damn. So the only release that I've been getting is like the gym. Like that's my mm-hmm. only release. And then it's like, since I ain't been writing music, I don't have that. That was my therapy. That, get you know that, outlet. that kind of kept, yeah, that kind of kept me sane too. So mm-hmm. Yeah, like, and now it's, like, almost a defense mechanism. Ever since I've been sexually harassed, I don't really trust niggas. Like, just walking up on me trying to be nice is, like, what what you want? Like, almost that. It's like that. Like, I got to be like that now. You know, it's so, kind yeah, of... that's probably what it is. It, so, it's, Sean, that's why the change. It's, yeah. it's kind of it's it's kind of fucked up, you know what I'm saying, that, that dudes like that just make it bad for all of us, man. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, I, and don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, there's some modern women out there that's fucked up. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. they got they they fucked up ways and and thoughts and all like that. But on the real though, I mean, like dudes on that creepy shit, you know, yeah, be changing not, that that be changing scary, the feet right. That be changing the females that guys like me want to talk to and want to and want to holler at. But we can't holler at you guys because of creepy niggas like that, you know? Yeah. And what really fucked me up, Sean, the most is that he was black. Like, that fucked me up. I didn't think. I mean, I know they're capable of shit like that, but just to see it and to have it done to me is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, that shit really blew me because I didn't, it was a part of me I didn't even want to tell on this nigga, dog. Like, I was just going to be unfucking comfortable. Like, I, but I had to, bro. Like, anyway, you had to, you, you had to tell. You, you had to tell. I mean, yo, yeah. you know, you, 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 not to say that your life was in danger, but you, you didn't feel safe with that dude around. Yeah. So yeah, you had to you you had to do what you had to do. I mean, you know, not to say that you, you know, you wanted to get them fired or anything like that. But who's to say who who's to say that that one that one day it would have happened? You know, you would have turned that right. dude down again, and you know, he probably went home and got drunk, and then you know, mm-hmm. you turned him down again, and then boom, that that would have happened. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. So yeah, you 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 had to do what you had to do, man. Well, Nifa, man, yo, before before we get on up out of here, man, and I do appreciate you coming back and hollering at me. Um, yo, uh, yo, when when is uh now you you asked me about uh TikTok and I and I yeah. you know I've been I've been you know I've been on your I've been on your live feed and I I think I mentioned that uh to you, but. Yeah. You you've been on YouTube for quite a while. Um you you've been getting you've been gaining a little bit of traction uh with your YouTube. You also been doing your thing on Instagram as well. You still use your Instagram for your uh for your side hustles, like you know, for your lashes and your purses and using, all like that. I was getting most of my customers from my Facebook as far as my lashes and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. I, the money always really always came from Facebook. Oh, okay. But Instagram, I'm trying to be more active on there, especially as far as like showing black women like we can do the shit. We need to like get our health in order and shit. Mm-hmm. And like, cause we're they got. I was looking at some statistics the other day, and they making it seem like it's a lot of black women that are obese. Like we deal with obesity and stress the like the most out of any other race of women. Mm-hmm. So. And I get a lot of messages saying, oh, I'm so motivational, but we really need to get in that shit. Like, we really need to, like, get our health and shit in order. For right. real, for real. So, mm. if I can motivate any other women, like, with my cute workout outfits, then that's what the fuck I'm going to do. So Now, you know, TikTok, I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, I'm, I'm not a I'm, 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 I'm not. Why you told li- me to get but on listen, there, but, but listen, though. Listen, listen, though. I, I'm not a fan. But TikTok is probably the easiest platform to gain followers. Um, there is a uh, man. Listen, TikTok. 
got so many motherfucking communities over there, man. It is fucking crazy. It got that. It got that coat chick over there. It got the BBWs is all over there. The the truck drivers is all over there. Especially if you're a female truck driver, you you, boom. I mean, it's like I I seen so many female truck drivers that's been popping up on TikTok. It's fucking crazy. I'm over here like I've been on social media for years, and I haven't seen as many as many female drivers that pops up on uh on on Rashad, one social media platform. I did a video on my YouTube channel saying if are they getting in there, like our new drivers getting into trucking for the wrong reasons, and I feel like they I think they're just doing it for aesthetic at this point because they start complaining about stupid shit like. Oh, the oh. bathrooms weren't clean. Yeah. On the death. Oh, bitch, the yeah. bathrooms ain't gonna be clean. We doing a job. We 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 do jobs for service. We serve mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. The shit that's in our trucks is for other people. This is a selfless ass job. Yes, so it if is. You in it because you want clean bathrooms, bitch, you in the wrong game. Like, yeah. yeah so I feel like they're doing that shit just so they can go viral on TikTok, not yeah. for like a career. Like, I feel like they're getting in it. I don't need to be on TikTok for no community. I'm fine with the people that my circle's so small. And mm -hmm. some people got more friends on social media than they have in real life. What kind of life is that? Exactly. Exactly. So, no, I'm good. I'm good on TikTok. I'm good on all that shit. I don't like people knowing my... Bro, people are fucking weird. That's almost the reason why I don't have Ace on YouTube as much because mm -hmm. it's pedophiles. It's real deal pedophiles. Like, mm -hmm. no. I have one job and that's to protect my child and so no nah, I'm I'm good. You I'm know, good on TikTok. <laughs> it's like it's like I said before, you know, TikTok was for like when it was made, it was it was made for teenagers, for kids and all like that. Yeah. But now all these but now all us grown motherfuckers is on there now taking over <laughs> taking over the fucking app. Like, you know, every time we do a live feed or something like that, it's still kids coming up in the live feed asking dumbass questions and all like that. But then the grown folks, the grown folks be like, well, why are you on here? You know, you're oh, a kid. Wow. Why are you on here? Because you're on the kids app. I mean, right. think about it. You know, yeah. the, the TikTok dances and the... And the voiceover. See, I don't do all that bullshit. I, I don't do right. all of that. I the voiceovers, the dances, and all like that, and and uh, and and stupid shit like like the one chick. She did a she did a TikTok video uh, using that fastest fuck boy uh, uh, sound bite while she over here twirling the motherfucking uh, landing gear handle. Like, bro. Wow. You're going to twirl that shit and knock yourself the fuck out. Like, you think that shit is funny. That shit ain't funny. My dude just sent me a my dude just sent me a picture of of his of one of his guys that he got finished training. He mm -hmm. was he was twirling the, the the landing gear handle and smooth knocked this front tooth out. Oh my god. Sure did. I he was like he was like lockout man. Why you didn't tell me you was going to post that video of her? I could have gave you the picture. I was like, hey. <laughs> I was like, hey, you should have gave. I, I, I said, you give me a lot of shit. If you would have gave it to me, I would have put it in the video. But, yeah. But that's, that's but that's what, you know, that's. And I, I agree with you on that because yeah. that's what some of the, you know, some of them get in here just to hurry up and just get that one viral video. And then, yep. and then just to go viral, you know, for that 15 yep. minutes, that 15 seconds, you know. Yep, they in it for the wrong reason, Sean. Exactly, so, exactly. I, I, didn't, I didn't get on this shit to go viral or as far as the reason I started making my YouTube videos and shit is because I kept getting questions. How did you get into it? How did you get? All right, so how to become a female truck driver. Oh, so what you do? Okay, Adventures with Nifa Nia. Like, let's, let me show you. Let's like, do it. And if I did it at 23, the girls my age, y'all could do it at 23 too. That's why I started making and sharing the shit that I was going through in my little vlog and stuff. But now, as far as these 